Welcome back to Daytime Live. Uh, the, the, the persons in BNS New Kingston, beautiful people. I love them. Uh, anyway, we are happy to have on our show <laughs> the fabulous, my friend, Denise Hunt! <laughs> I love you already. I love you already. <laughs> let, me, uh, let, let me tell you, Denise signed in early and I wasn't here yet. And Denise was cursing, cursing me off before yes. I got yes. the earpiece in and getting my audio. She's like, yes. you can't hear me. So all I saw was. <laughs> I wish. Waste all the good words. <laughs> <laughs> so most of us know you as an actress and host, mm -hmm. but you are now a fitness and life coach. Yes, ma'am. As well as the owner of it's a tongue twister, Sizzle Fit Faith and Fitness. Yes, Sizzle Fit Faith and Fitness. Was that good? Sizzle Fit Faith and Fitness. Sizzle fit. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, it's a whole so, thing. Why That's did thing. you decide to take on this new role, though, of coaching? Tell us about that. Because I, I was doing, Nisha Yen, I was doing fitness for so long, like all my life. And the more I, I trained people, is the more I realized there is no getting to your wellness your healthness mm -hmm. without going through here because uh. most people come into the gym most people put on a pair of sneakers they're not putting it on because hey i am so desperate to get great thighs or so desperate to have a tiny waist you know what they're desperate to do desperate mm -hmm. to get out of their head yeah and so if i was not able to walk the journey they were walking in mm -hmm. their heads and in their homes and in their relationships and in their church and in their family dynamics and who could do all the push-ups and the burpees in the world? It don't make any sense, right? True, so true. I took on the mantle and, and got certified as a life coach because I wanted to A, be able to walk authentically beside yeah. my clients. And B, I was going through some stuff myself and I wanted to be able to coach myself through my seasons because it's not push up on burpees and eat carrot and <laughs> sell it. That's not it. That's not the only thing. Bye, That's, bye, 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 bye. That's, That's a word. That's a word. Denise, you started a podcast. Uh, it's called Random Thoughts Live, and you always discuss challenges that women of color face. Like, I'm sure Nisha would love to be a part of that. But can mm -hmm. you share your first experience in a situation where you felt less than who you were because of your hue, your color? Uh, there are so many examples, <laughs> and I'm going to take it to Jamaica. Yeah. I'm not going to do it here because in talking to my good friend Odessa previously, she pointed out, you know what? You're a black-skinned person in a foreign country. Okay, fine. And I'm in Texas, what? So, that's a given. But in your country. So, I walk into a place that shall remain nameless in New Kingston. And he walks in with me, a person of a lighter hue, a nice fancy dressing and, and kind of thing, and... I've always been a jeans and t-shirt girl. I'm a jeans and t-shirt girl. It don't matter what you see on TV. I'm a jeans and t-shirt girl. Yeah, so I walk into the place in a jeans yeah, and t-shirt girl. That's true. That's, that's and not true. It, it starts at the security guard, you know, because, you know, so we have with everybody have a security guard right at the front. Sicky, like, yeah. Who thinks he owns the building. building. Yes. Right. yes. Correct. Correct. <laughs> and so treatment that the person coming in two paces behind me was lighter skin and the treatment I got, I'm like, catch my money not the same money where what and, and maybe he didn't even have as much money as i did back in the speak day. it that's girl what I'm mm -hmm. that's what i'm saying the look let him gravitate towards the lighter skin yes. until it's, it's, and it just it goes right down so we start there with the security guard and then we'll go to whoever the person is that is performing the service and then it will go to the supervisor and then it will go to the manager because we apparently don't know better that there is to be no distinction in this thing named service that we're supposed to be offering no matter what our business is so yes. in jamaica it was always a thing for me yes. until i became the denise hunt it was no no longer a thing because my name pre preceded my skin color so i saw come get good tone good skin treatment because denise hunt foreshadows dark skin yes i hear that amen and that's such a uh, awesome point dovton will tell you that i I've experienced that a lot myself. But before we jump into further conversation about this, actually, we're going to take a quick break. Sure. Um, daytime, I will be right back with more chat with the, like the lady say, the Denise Hunt. Put some respect the on Denise. our name. <laughs> Put some respect on our name. You know what her middle name is? Wait, so, it's not Angus? Angus Isha? No, I'll tell you. It's like, 
Like, like Gertilyn, like Gertilyn. We soon come. Ignore them here. We soon come back here, guys. Be Denise Hunt after the break. <laughs>